Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Digital Nomad, your ultimate guide to making the most of your remote work experience. Today, we're diving into an essential topic for all you digital nomads out there, assessing the overall value of remote job offers. Now, we all know that salary is important, but it's not the only thing to consider. The full package, benefits, perks, work-life balance, these elements play a monumental role in your overall job satisfaction and lifestyle. You might ask, why is it so important? Well, understanding the full package can help you make an informed decision about your career path, ensuring that you're not just surviving, but thriving in your remote work journey. So are you ready to take a deep dive into the world of remote job offers and learn how to evaluate them effectively? If so, stick around and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. First and foremost, let's talk about the base salary. This is the foundational element of any job offer, and it's crucial to get it right. The base salary is the fixed amount of money you'll earn, regardless of your performance or the success of the company. It's your bread and butter, your guaranteed income. But how do you know if the base salary offered to you is fair? Well, there are several factors to consider. Firstly, think about your cost of living. If you're a digital nomad, this could vary greatly depending on where you choose to live. A base salary that might seem generous while living in Bali, for instance, might not stretch nearly as far if you decide to relocate to Tokyo. So always consider your lifestyle and the cost of maintaining it in different locations. Secondly, don't forget about tax implications. Depending on your citizenship and where you're legally resident, your base salary might be subject to different tax rates. Some countries offer tax advantages to digital nomads, while others might take a significant chunk out of your earnings. So it's always wise to do a little homework on the tax laws of your resident country. Lastly, keep in mind the currency exchange rates. If you're paid in a currency different from where you're living, fluctuations in the exchange rate can affect your actual take-home pay. So if the currency you're paid in is volatile, it might be worth negotiating a higher base salary to buffer against potential losses. So there you have it. Evaluating the base salary isn't just about looking at the number on the offer letter, it's about understanding how that number will translate into your actual lifestyle and financial stability. Remember, your base salary is just one piece of the puzzle. There are other aspects of a remote job offer that you'll need to consider, which we'll discuss in the next scenes. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated. You won't want to miss these valuable insights. Now let's dive into the world of perks and benefits. As you navigate the remote job market, it's essential to understand that the base salary is just one part of the compensation package. Equally important are the perks and benefits that accompany a job offer, and these can significantly add to the overall value of that offer. Firstly, let's talk about health insurance. This is a big one. Many companies offer health insurance packages which can save you a considerable amount of money in the long run. Some even extend this coverage to include mental health services, an increasingly important aspect in today's fast-paced, stress-filled world. Next, we have vacation time. Companies that value their employees' well-being will often offer generous vacation policies. This is more than just a nice-to-have. It's a sign of a company that respects work-life balance. Then there are the professional development opportunities. These could be in the form of online courses, certifications, or even conferences. Such opportunities not only allow you to grow your skills and knowledge, but also boost your value as a professional, making you more marketable in the future. And let's not forget the tech equipment. In a remote work scenario, having the right tools is crucial. Some companies will provide you with the necessary equipment, such as a laptop or a smartphone, or even give you a technology allowance. This can be a significant cost saving, especially considering how quickly technology can become outdated and need replacing. To assess the value of these perks and benefits, consider how much you would have to spend out of pocket to obtain them. Also, think about the impact they would have on your quality of life and job satisfaction. Remember, a high base salary might seem attractive, but it's the perks and benefits that can truly enhance your work experience. They can make the difference between an okay job and a great one. Perks and benefits can significantly boost the value of your job offer. Make sure to click that subscribe button to stay updated. Uh, let's not forget about work-life balance. You see, it's not just about the dollars and cents when it comes to assessing the value of a remote job offer. 
In fact, one could argue that the importance of work-life balance outweighs the monetary aspect. So, what does work-life balance mean for digital nomads? One of the most significant perks of being a digital nomad is the flexibility it offers. Flexible hours allow you to work when you're most productive and take breaks when you need to recharge. This flexibility can lead to increased productivity, reduced stress, and overall improved quality of life. And then there's paid time off, a factor often overlooked in the equation. Sure, you might be working from a beach in Bali or a quaint cafe in Paris, but you still need time off to relax, explore, and disconnect from work. A job offer that includes generous paid time off can add significant value to your remote work lifestyle. Let's also consider the freedom to set your own pace and create your own schedule. This can be a game changer for maintaining work-life balance. You're not confined to the traditional 9 to 5 grind. Instead, you have the liberty to design your workday around your personal needs and lifestyle. But don't forget, work-life balance also requires discipline. It's easy to blur the lines between work and personal life when you're a digital nomad. So a remote job that promotes a healthy work-life balance and encourages you to set boundaries can be a real asset. And then there are the companies that go the extra mile, offering wellness programs, mental health support, or even personal development opportunities. These are not just perks. They're investments in you as a person, not just an employee. In conclusion, when assessing the overall value of a remote job offer, look beyond the paycheck. Consider the flexibility, the paid time off, the support for your well-being, and the freedom to design your own workday. Work-life balance is key to a fulfilling remote work experience, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks. That sums up how to assess the overall value of remote job offers. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered in our journey today. We've traveled through the landscape of understanding the base salary, where we unpacked the concept of not just focusing on the numerical figure, but also considering factors like cost of living and currency exchange rates. We learned that sometimes a seemingly lower salary might actually offer more purchasing power in a different location. Then we ventured into the territory of perks and benefits, where we found that they're not just icing on the cake, but crucial components of the job offer. Health insurance, retirement plans, professional development opportunities, these aren't just nice-to-haves. They're essential pieces of the puzzle that can significantly affect your quality of life and long-term financial health. Our journey didn't end there. We then explored the importance of work-life balance. We realize that the flexibility of remote work doesn't necessarily equate to a balanced life. We learn to consider factors like expected work hours, vacation policies, and how responsive the company expects you to be outside of work hours. So, as we reach the end of our journey, remember that assessing the overall value of a remote job offer is like putting together a puzzle. Each piece, the base salary, the perks and benefits, and the work-life balance, plays a crucial role in the bigger picture. So before you accept that job offer, take a moment to step back and look at the whole picture. Don't be swayed by a high base salary alone. Consider the perks, the benefits and the work-life balance. Assess the overall value of the offer and make sure it aligns with your personal and professional goals. Thank you for tuning into Digital Nomad. Remember to subscribe and join our community of digital nomads. Keep living the dream, folks.